Say all right, so first and foremost, when I give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Me'oshai, Ba'asham, Me'kal Kodash, we see that my apostles and elders are great and the teachers of apostles and truth, and we see salutation, so the acronym to push the push word in our truth and say, Dean and the old, you know, counseling season, out of season, we say, Shalom, woman. And once again, going into our video here, and this basically touching upon how easily it is people are being deceived, right? How easily it is they're being led astray. Right, because when you again when you go on these social media sites, even when you read the comments on, on some of your videos, you know you you what you you watching and you might watch a debate, you might go on these forums and you will see a topic speak being speak about. It's so easily these people being led astray. Now that just again that just when you're watching things online and again what sparked this video is that I was seeing, I was just you know online and I seen how easily these people falling into falling into these traps that 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 other men being um setting up, which it have no truth in it. So they're easily being led astray. They're easily being be, easily being um being deceived, and they're holding they're holding to what it is they're being deceived by as the truth when it's not, right? So going into the scripture here, this is um Second Timothy chapter three. I will start from verse thirteen. They say, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And, they, uh, and the scripture is telling me that. They say, but ev evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. You understand? Know, shall wax worse and worse. Now, when you look up the word, um, when you look up the word, seducers, right? It says, to, it says seducer, a person who entices someone into sexual activities. So, you're basically going into what entices, right? So, basically going into what enticing. It says, a person who entices someone to do or believe something inadvisable or foolhardily. So, the, so, so basically, a seducer is somebody that will entice someone to believe in a lie. And that is what we're seeing right now. It's so much of seducers. A majority of these people who are being deceived, they're following these seducers to believe in a lie. You understand? And these seducers enticing them. And, and it basically, when they go online and see some of these, you see some of these conversations, you see some of these things that be, these, these people following, these people believing in, is, is, is basically they're being seduced. But again, this is why I brought up um this is why I did this is why I did, I did a quick Google search here. It say, why do people deceive? It say a large body of research identifies three major reasons why people lie. It say to get something they want, so called um instrumental reasons to protect or promote themselves and to, to harm others. Now the first part says to get something they want. And that's basically it it is here we're saying these people and them they believe these lies, they're being seduced because again, they believe in things that that they agree you know, to agree with, with the wickedness they're doing. You understand? So, hey, they want to eat pork, they will find a teacher to tell them, hey, you know what? Go ahead, eat pork. You know? That is, that is, that is, what, that is what they continue to do. Right? So you say, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Right? And again, we don't know when they go to the, you know, with, with the Bible says they, they deceive and they deceive our heads. Right? So it's, um, I say deceiving and being deceived. And it's, as, as the scripture says, it shall wax worse and worse. And that is what you're seeing because this is getting worse. You know, these people believe in things that they have not, that they ain't even supposed to believe in. You understand? But when it comes to the truth, they deny it because why? The truth now, it, 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 it destroys the, the, the meek belief. You know? It destroys the lie. Right now. You see, you see, um, so this was the next thing with, uh, when you look up for me, you see, so we tend to worry more about the cost of being wrong than we value the benefits of being right. And as you think, plenty of these people want to be wrong and they continue to believe in one and a lie. You understand? They continue to believe in a lie, no matter, because again, it, 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 the lie, it agrees with what it is, um, it, it, it agrees with what it is they're doing or what it is they believe. Understand, and again, they, just, they will be destroyed for that, right? Um, so you say verse 14, you say, But continue thou in the things thou which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So you say, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, and been assured, we, we are sure of that, and that's what going to the scriptures and so forth, right? Because uh, you know, recently I, I uploaded a, a, a quick short video where it had a a, 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 a scientist proven on one of these um, shows proven that the flood had happened we know we are sure of that that, that took place but he was showing it on a, on a, on a scientific level and, and showing you how the proof that, that this thing took place right but then it had these people outside here that, that don't even believe that, that that happened 
and they, and they go hearken and they go believe and they go follow men that would agree with them. You understand? So you say, but continue thou in which, conti but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, right? And knowing in of whom thou hast learned, and there's a, learned them, and there's the next thing. This, they set up people over them that they, that didn't even show who this person is. You know, they just set up this person, believe the lie, and run with it. But again, the, pe the people they choose is, 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 is to agree with the wickedness that they continue to do on a daily basis. Right? Let's say it was 15 and said that, and that from a child, thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in the Ahavashai Mashiach. Let's say verse 16, you say, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine and reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness, as it says here, for all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, instru for instruction in righteousness. So again, these people and them, where, where we will find the truth is here. But they, but they would find men, they would find somebody to teach them um, contrary to what the Bible is, or contrary to what it, what it is the word saying. And as it it's here, we, as, as it's here, it's, it's here, they tend to worry more about the cost of being wrong than, the, than we value the benefits of being right. They, they, they don't want to be corrected. They don't want to be, they don't want to, they, they don't want correction. They don't want reproof and so forth. So they don't, so they wouldn't understand the benefits of being right. So they easily being what? Seduced. They easily be being, being what? Deceived. You understand? Because they're worrying about more, about, they, they worry about more about being wrong. You know, son. So if they if they if they if they go against the green, then you know. So um. Right. So you see um. Something else I had here. It says top-down perception is when we drive our own reality based on perception. Right? And that's the thing, they base their own reality and perception, their opinion. And that is where you're seeing plenty of them have an opinion and they say, I stand by my opinion and it is where it is. When they when it's totally wrong, it's totally off. You understand? And then they find people to agree with their opinion, they find people who teach them that and, and they and they run with it. Going on that part of work. They did blind, they didn't blind and both show up fall into a ditch. You understand? But but these scriptures is what go is, is is the truth. The scriptures is what go tell we the right from the wrong. The scriptures is what go tell we go show we hey, it go show we the right thing so we wouldn't be what easily easily deceived. You understand? Right. And there's the thing you don't want to be you don't want to be deceived right you don't want to be one of them that just fall into that <laughs> fall into to, to having te having a, having um teachers you know that basically teaching you the wrong thing right you see this is colossians chapter 2 verse um verse 8 it says beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit so that's what the scripture saying beware so we have to take heed but these people they, they so they so want to they so want to um, be wrong and strong, they, they would find teachers or find men to, to spoil them. You understand? To, to, to agree with them or to teach them way worse. But not, that is the thing. That is why I start with the, with the Timothy. I say all scriptures are given. I say all scriptures given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. And that is the thing, for correction. To teach us the right thing. Right? Let's say, um, they say, beware lest any man spoil, spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Mashiach. So that's the thing. You see, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Right? After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Mashiach. And that's the thing. So we seem to be aware of that. So we have to take heed that we do fall into that trap, that, that we do be deceived. You know? But that's because as, as that, that is why I look up this here. Why people are easily deceived? Because why they want to they want to be in their own way and they, they want to follow the only and think that is the right thing. You know, and that is not the way to be. You understand? It can never be.
right um, so yeah again the importance of of, of what the, the importance of, of knowing the right from the wrong this uh, scripture says there's a way that seemed right unto a man but the end of his time is, is death and what destruction that's roughly paraphrasing but the end of his death so you you think in the way that you, you're going is the right thing but it, it's not see deceiving your own self you know and you don't want to be like that right you don't want to fall into the um, into the into the um, into that pit put on scripture here This is Second Peter chapter two, chapter one, verse nineteen. It say, um, it say, we we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well, that ye take heed, as unto the light that shineth in a dark place, until the on the day of dawn and the day star arise in your heart. So you see what we 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 have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto do you do ye do well. So you see so we have a more sure word on the prophecy and that's the thing. It, it, the things that are written and the things that are happening here it 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 it, it, it taking place. It's happening right now. You know the prophecies are speaking. So so at the end of the day who we are to turn to we are to turn to the word, we are to turn to the Lord. Not listen to what a man say and think that is the right thing because wait is he saying it stand no ground. But again, as I say here, they tend to worry more about being wrong, you know, than the than being right and the benefits of being right. And it sounds like this this next one here say it say we drive our own reality based on perception. See and understand knowing the right thing is like changing the real the whole reality. The things that they believe in and now they go understand that the things that they believe in and the things that they're following is the wrong thing. But as the scriptures say, sedu- as the scripture says, oh, um, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. And that is what we see. And as I said, that is what's factored. Just, when you go online and you see, you see these people, you see you now how easily it is these people being deceived. You know? And they're deceiving others with it. And that is, again, that is what the scriptures say. So, but evil men and seducers are works worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. There are more there are more people being deceived than people that know the truth. You understand? And them that being deceived are so great is that this is that they try to draw all the truth. They try to make the truth seem like it was a wrong thing. You understand? It say in one reason why the subjects in these studies were so easily tricked. You see, just imagine I say in it's one is one reason why the subjects in these studies were so easily tricked and it is why we humans are predis- predisposed to bias so again they were their own way but not the truth right and that is the thing and that then they go and do what they happen on the teachers you know that going and teach them the wrong thing right so again this as i said this is going to be a part two so this is part one and part two going the entire picture that i have going into into teachers deceiving them you know so with that we give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bashem el shay bashem el kakudash we see that when supposed and elders agreements and the will of the teachers are possible and shoot and we see salutations of the acumen supposed to know and shoot and say shoot and say they lean and they out in the council in season and season we say shalom